So in this video, let me explain all the benefits of using the, the, the baseball swing or the modern baseball swing as our analogy for, for our golf swing. Um, the benefits are, are numerous. So let, let's just go through the, through the pattern first of all. So, um, and I believe that the baseball is going through somewhat of a change in philosophy as well, uh, working from a kind of hands driven pattern to one where they are really using their, their body to rotate and using the stretch shortening cycles, um, which we're going to be doing in our golf swing as well. So modern baseball swing, as I understand it now, uh, I'm no expert, but bear with me, is one whereby the bat is somewhere back here and then the player rotates really hard. The bat falls back behind them and gets on plane very early and they end up hitting the ball, rotating so hard they hit the ball very much off their right shoulder. Now you can see as I do that, uh, I'm hitting it with the back of the bat as well. Now we don't have that luxury. Uh, let me just grab my hockey stick. Um, We don't have that luxury. I need to be able to, to, to square the face. So in the golf swing, we can't just rotate hard and hit it with this bit. That's clearly not gonna be a, you know, a decent strike. So we need to understand how we manipulate the face in that pattern as well. But you can see in the movement I've made there, I've got all the rotation and the club face is coming back square and it's staying square-ish uh, for quite some time as opposed to a, you know, a previous pattern where it would turn over very quickly. So we've got this really seemingly square and, and relatively stable motion of the club face. We've also got um, stretch shortening cycles, as I mentioned. So um, baseball and, and certainly uh, golf in the, in the elite um, sense. So if you look at the PGA Tours, you'll see that all the, all the really big hitters aren't necessarily massively strong. Um, Speed and power in the golf swing does not come primarily from linear force and, and big strong muscles. A lot of the guys and girls are, are really quite slim, um, as I am, but still create massive amounts of power. And that comes from using your body as an elastic band. So as we make that baseball motion and we really kind of sit down and rotate, we separate the motion of our pelvis from our, our rib cage. We get this kind of external motion of the shoulder and I end up putting a stretch there through my back, through the left shoulder, down the left arm. Um, and that stretch is using my body as a, as a rubber band, which then shortens um, very quickly into the ball and creates all the club speed. So that is how we end up hitting the ball a long, long way without um, using linear force and, and pulling and, and strength. Now there are further benefits. So in that same motion then, if we take our baseball an, uh, analogy, we're gonna be working on being able to get the club somewhat perpendicular to the line of my back so that through the ball, we can then just keep turning and deliver the club on plane and onto the ball. There's no changing of, of club plane into the ball, there's no changing of posture into the ball. So that, that sense of being able to stay down through the ball will be a lot easier. Now, I think more than anything, and an area which is often um, overlooked, is the ability to be able to put the club absolutely flush on the ground. So when we, when we strike a ball really cleanly and it feels just right, more often than not, it's because the bottom of the club is hitting the ground like so. Now, oftentimes, and I would imagine 90% of club golfers, as they're hitting the ball, the handle is raising and the toe of the club is moving like so. So in that pattern, the toe end digs in, you'll see my pelvis moves forwards. And as the toe end digs in, you get those really um, fat, chunky feeling shots and the club face is wrapping over at the, same, at the same time. I wonder that we'd hit anything straight. So in this program, we'll be looking at how we can get the club into such a position that we can rotate hard, deliver the, the bottom of the club flush with the ground and keep the face really stable through the ball while making use of the, the body as an elastic band. Um, it's really exciting. I hope you'll, you'll join me on this journey. And as I say, in, in, in all the future videos, I'll take you through step by step how to integrate um, all these great concepts into your game.